have you ever wondered what to wear when it's really dark outside and it's just a cloudy day to dreary the sky most of the time is like white gray it may even rain at some points but i am here to help you let's get into this first look it's very cozy more so if maybe if you're working at home this is what i wear most of the time just my leggings a big t-shirt or sweatshirt and slippers i love these slippers they're from llb and my leggings are free people i thrifted everything or was gifted a lot of my clothes the sweatshirts from saddleback the vest is patagonia and it has cute little mushrooms on the inside i just love this look i also thought it would be fun to kind of show you like how it is to wear these outfits because i think sometimes people will just like put together an outfit and they don't really think about going and wearing it from day to day so i wanted this to be as realistic as possible too so i'll be going through different scenes going outside along with being inside my home so i hope that you enjoy this video and these looks i'll have the description for all of them down below i really hope you try and thrift them get them second hand because this fashion industry that we have where it's constantly buying new things is not good for the earth. So I'm here to help you stay warm and cozy, create some cute looks with some clothes and pieces that you already have in your closet. I usually just go with some simple pair of hoops. These are from Madewell for all of my looks. That is my go-to every day. I'm gonna be wearing either some small hoops or some big hoops. The next look is also pretty casual, but still really cute. I just kept the Free People leggings on and I threw my Hunter rain boots over them. I think that wearing leggings and rain boots are really like the best combination. But I also have the sweater on top with a little tank top underneath to help brighten it up. One thing about the boots is they do offer you the best protection and the fact that your feet won't get wet, but they aren't that warm. So you want to make sure you have some good socks on. Along with, they are kind of funny in that they'll like bend and do these weird things that they do, but they're overall still a really great boot. And I've actually been considering getting the shorter version just because I won't, won't have to deal with like that weird clunkiness in the folds that you get in the boots but it's still not that big of a deal for the next couple of looks i just wanted to highlight these shoes my converse these i ordered them from free people and i just thought they would be the perfect pair for fall and to just kind of go with my aesthetic you'll see i wear a lot of greens and browns and blacks that's very much like who I am and what represents me the best. So these Converse I thought were just unbelievable. Like, so me, so I love them. But this next look, one of my favorites, I thrifted these overalls off of Mark Carey and they're Union Bay corduroy, so freaking cute. I just, I love the color. But I threw that sweater on underneath and to keep me extra warm, I actually have leggings on under these. I don't know if you can tell, but that's a great little hack. Wear layers. Speaking of layers, throw a flannel on if it's really cold or a rain jacket. You know, depending on how bad it is raining outside, you could throw a rain jacket on. But it was just like drizzling, so I didn't necessarily need one. Love this look. This will be a go-to fall look for me, for sure. face it up you can throw a big t-shirt over it all the only thing you have to be concerned with is taking the overalls off if you have to go to the bathroom i always find that very difficult if i'm like layering over the overalls half the time once i go to the bathroom i just shove everything down in them and put them back up but i love the really baggy kind of look this is griffin's flannel by the way so that's why it's extra baggy and the shirt is an extra large that I just got from this really cute shop down in York. I'll leave it linked below. You can layer this outfit as well with the flannel or rain jacket, 
layering really is the best key to staying warm. The boots can work with the overalls and other things if you just shove them down into it. It's a cute look. I don't love this as the boots, I said, kind of can be clunky. Shoving stuff down into them doesn't help, makes it more clunky. You can add the flannel to make it more warm and cozy. Remember, layers are your friend here when it comes to the warmth. These next looks are for if you live in a more warmer region. So I just have a t-shirt dress on with a big shirt over that and that flannel and those high rain boots. I love this type of look. So cute. I kept the dress on. The dress is like the main look for this outfit section, but I threw the sweater over it. I thought this was really kind of just a sweet little outfit if you're going out and about, but you still you know, want to be cool. If you though need to be warm, you can take that flannel with you and wear it as, you know, a layer because layers are our friends. <laughs> I switched up the shoes here and threw on the Converse just to give it a different style. Maybe it's not raining that day, so you don't need rain boots. So this is what it looks like with the Converse. I also love this look. This might be my favorite look out of the whole video. I just think it's so like sweet. It's like the best way to describe it. Like very sweet little fall outfit. I really do love it. I couldn't have this video without having an outfit with a rain jacket. So that's what we have here. My rain jacket outfit with my Levi jeans and my Converse. I am getting ready to go to a cute little woodsy spot to film the rest of the outfits but i was like oh i might as well just show what i'm actually wearing to that and this is it i thrifted this jacket in bar harbor i think two years ago and it's my only rain jacket and i love it because it's reversible it's super warm and cozy being up in maine you really need a warm jacket like all my outfits really do revolve around being warm because that's just the life that I have to live. But I do love just this very simple beige sweater, jeans, Converse. You could do like Vans, sneakers. Really, this is just a very simple go-to look. You can always layer it with a flannel. I really do love this flannel. It's just the perfect fall flannel. I love it. Layers are the best. Don't forget to layer. Keeping the bottom half the same, I just threw on this little top from four days. I love a good collared shirt. If you live in a colder region, throw a flannel on. But if you live in like LA, you could probably get away with that being a cute fall look, just the shirt, jeans and shoes, but not here. We can't do that. So the flannel acts as a really great little jacket, not making it too bulky, not being too hot. With that being said, if you don't want the flannel and you want something more covering, throw that sweater back on, baby. I love the look of a collared neck with a sweater. It's like kind of preppy, but you can make it hipstery depending on what you're wearing and depending on your style. I love all these looks because I didn't buy anything. These were all clothes from my closet that I just was like, let me go see what I can make with these clothes that I have. And I got some really cute outfits. Like, look at this. I just threw that flannel on again. This would be more of a late fall outfit for me as it was really hot, but still so cute. And I ended up throwing that t-shirt over this to make it kind of like a big baggy look. If you had some necklaces, you could totally add those. That would kind of spice it up, change it. Those are the looks that I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you got some good inspiration for what to wear on just cold, cloudy, rainy days. 
it's always hard for me to get inspiration because I do just want to be cozy. But I hope you found some. Thank you for watching.